The Ministry of Health has constructed a dedicated sickle cell unit at the hospital to offer a holistic approach in managing sickle cell disease. While officiating the groundbreaking ceremony, Ministry of Health Permanent Secretary Dr. Diana Twini emphasized the importance of comprehensive care. So we need to bring back the curve. And this curve, as we take care of the ready that have the disease, we need to advocate for premarital counseling and testing. She insisted that couples go for blood tests before marriage to prevent the transmission of sickle cell traits. If we look at our statistics right now, 80% of our children who are dying before five, they, that, 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 it is, that part of statistics is, is appalling. To me, it is unacceptable. We all know how we get sickle cell and we can prevent more children dying more children getting sickle cell by making sure that when we are going to get married we do not get two careers getting together because automatically automatic as as the day comes out after the night we'll have sickle cell children Kayunga Regional Referral Hospital has registered an increasing number of patients with approximately 15 new sickle cell cases reported daily. Dr. Sophie Nachito noted the importance of education in addressing the rising numbers and dispelling myths surrounding the condition. So that our medical emergency unit where we manage complications and stabilize our patients. From there we send them to the pediatric ward where our warriors up to 17 years are admitted and those above 17 years are taken to the medical ward. Mitiana Municipality Woman MP Joyce Bagala emphasized that a shift in mindset will save lives and in managing the chronic nature of sickle cell disease. Sickle cell anemia being a chronic disease also causes other chronic illnesses like high blood pressure. Because of the stress of the sickness of a child, Many parents have hypertension because of that stress. And it's very important for the caregivers to understand that, especially those who do counseling to the parents with sickle cell anemia. To date, over 5,000 patients in the region have been identified and are receiving treatment of sickle cell disease. This initiative marks a significant step forward in improving the quality of life for those affected and their families. Charity Marion Imnat, UBC News.